Today we're going to cut out wooden stars. These are useful for all kinds of craft projects. You can make Christmas ornaments, you can do patriotic stuff, and who knows whatever. You just let your imagination run wild. So, let's go cut stars. Welcome to Homestyle Woodcrafts. My name is James. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my pattern. I'm going to print out some clip art, trace it on cardboard, cut that out, and then I'll be able to use that to trace the pattern onto the wood. So here we go. Whew. All right, it is really hot out here. Okay, we got the template ready. Uh, next thing to do is prep the wood, meaning I'm gonna sand the larger piece of wood that we're gonna cut the stars out of um, because it's easier to do that than when there are a bunch of little stars. And then uh, we'll trace the stars on the wood and then we'll start cutting them out. And we're, we're gonna try like we did with the hearts video and it'll be up here or maybe up here, I don't know, but um, we're gonna try cutting them out with different uh, tools just to see how it goes. Uh, so. Let's keep going. Hey, and before I forget, don't forget safety. I'm gonna be using eye protection, hearing protection, and a dust mask. So let's keep it safe. The next step is to trace the pattern on the wood. I'm gonna do four stars because we're gonna cut the stars out in four different ways. All right, let's go cut them out. All right, we're gonna start with the coping saw. This is an inexpensive tool for people who don't wanna invest a lot of money in you know, shop tools, or if you can't, this can be a good place to start because you can do a lot of things with it. It's designed to work with trim, but you can do a lot of projects like the one we're gonna to do today. The teeth point down, and so the cut will be on the down stroke or on the back stroke. I'm not really very good with this tool, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm about to cut the first star with the coping saw. It's key to have your workpiece securely uh, clamped down to the work table so that you minimize any movement of the wood while you're sawing. And also the challenge is gonna be at the end when there's not much wood holding onto it. So we'll kind of have to work through that and see what solutions we can come up with. Here we go. So you can see that our coping saw star is far from perfect. A little misshapen, but do not despair. Sanding will improve this quite a bit. And a lot of people really like kind of a rustic look to some of their woodcrafts, and I think this will be just fine. So let's touch this up a little bit with, I'm gonna use my Dremel. Much better. Still not perfect, but much better. Let's try the jigsaw now. Here's the jigsaw. Notice the very narrow blade that gives you lots of control to do curvy cuts. Make sure that your workpiece is clamped down well because the less vibration, the better the cut. And remember, safety first. All right, here's our jigsaw. 
overran it in a couple places. Uh, overall, a lot faster. Whew, it is hot. Uh, this one's a lot faster. I felt I had more control because I'm not that great with the coping saw. I'll clean it up in a similar way I did the other one, uh, sanding it up, and I think it will look great. Uh, so the next one we're going to do is the bandsaw. The bandsaw, at least on my bandsaw, the blade I have is a little wider than the jigsaw, uh, but it still uh, can do curves, things like that. Now, of course, with the star, we're cutting, we're trying to cut straight edges. Here's our cut from the bandsaw. I really liked it. The, the blade size made it easier to cut the straight lines. I think it turned out really well. So far, this is my favorite. So for our last star, we're going to use a scroll saw. And the scroll saw has the smallest blade of any of the tools we've used today, including my coping saw, or at least the blade I have on the coping saw. Um, and so that tiny blade gives us a lot of maneuverability on the wood. Now in this case, um, we're mostly doing a straight line and that gets harder the smaller the blade is. Um, but in terms of like doing the points in the corners, it gives us a lot of um, ability to make tight corners and turns and things like that. And here it is. That went pretty good, I thought. Uh, my blade wandered a little bit, um, but I blame me more than the tool just because I um, need more practice at the scroll saw. Um, anyway, I'm going to sand this up and then I'll show all four of them to you. By the way, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you do, I uh, wish you would subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that bell so that you can receive notifications so you can see the other videos that I'm producing. Okay, so here are the four stars. This one was done by the coping saw. This one was done with the jigsaw. This one was done with the bandsaw. And this one was done with the scroll saw. So we're going to do a little contest here. I'm going to invite Nancy out and see which one she likes best. I'm going to number them. And let's go ask Nancy. Okay, so I've asked Nancy to come and judge the stars to see which one she likes the best. So Nancy, if you'll take a look at the stars and then what I've done is I've numbered them and me and our millions of viewers uh, know what the numbers mean. Okay, can I set them down here? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, or four. I'm going for four. Four, all right. And as you all know, f number four was cut out with the scroll saw. So I guess the scroll saw wins. How how close was it? Or any of them bad? Do you like, is there any you just don't like? No, I, I like one also because it's a little bit more uneven than this one, and I like that. So this is probably my second. Why do you favorite. like the uneven? Because it makes it more unique. Oh, okay. Well, number one was the scroll saw, which is the cheapest saw and also the saw I'm the worst with. So there you go. Yes. So pick the saw you want and have fun. Thanks. That's it, everybody. Go cut stars and have fun. Watch this next video because I think you're really going to like it.